I'll tell you what, just talk to visiting fans about how special a stadium this is. We're in the east end of Glasgow on a big European night. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to. It's Celtic facing Milan. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Goosebumps, that's the only word I can think of. I always get goosebumps on European nights watching under floodlights. I wish I was down there, but second best place is up here with you, Derek. Yeah. 11 today for the hosts. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. Here's the Milan team. Thank you. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And they get the ball rolling in this Champions League group stage confrontation. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. They've lost it. Moving through the gears. Pulls it back. And a goal it is. The opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And slipped through beautifully. A really sumptuous ball. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Samu Castillejo This is Rafinha He's got the right idea with that pass Fabio Barini And in it goes The perfect header Exactly what they were looking for Well we're going to see the replay here You can't head the ball in the net If you don't get any crosses in The crosses are coming in thick and fast and that was a beauty. That made the goal. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. It's with Chalhanolu. This is Rafinha. Milan have lost the ball. Read it superbly, did and passing with a velvet touch, and the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is! Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do, and on this occasion he does, and he scores. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Now in Cham, and a strong tackle. The story is over, the referee has decided, and this group stage match ends in a win for Milan. Well, Derry, that was a great performance, wasn't it? Really, really top class. Every department of the team working perfectly well. It was easy in the end. They strolled around, could have won by more goals, but the manager will be very happy with the result and the performance.